हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नाइन इन हिस्ट्री क्लास सेवेंथ द ग्रोथ ऑफ रीजनल कल्चर्स इंडिया इज अ वास्ट कंट्री एंड हैज नियरली ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ टेरिन फ्रॉम डेजर्ट टू स्नो क्लैड माउंटेन्स फ्रॉम कोस्ट लाइन्स टू जंगल फ्रॉम रूरल प्लेन्स ऑफ रिवर बेसिन टू डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड सेटलमेंट but there is something which unites us as indians from historical times we have certain common links and therefore we take pride in the thought uh, the thought of unity in diversity in this chapter we shall study about how the various form of language art dance and music get linked together despite the regional separation the medieval period was one of diverse cultural growth you have studied about the times of the indian rulers the rajputs and the muslim rulers during the sultanate and then the mughal era when kings came in for and from the arabic and persian regions to rule india they brought along their cultural ethics and languages music dance form and art and architecture to india language it is a established fact that the aryans had come into india and the dravids drifted to the south aryans brought their own language sanskrit and religious belief which were different from the ones in use here it is now that sanskrit find some common words in german and english language as well for example matri and mother sound alike languages in north the variations of the sanskrit language were in use in different regions each with many dialects the, the common were the khadi boli hindi braj and avdi were in use the central regions punjabi odia bengali assamese and sindhi were also in use in different regions of the north areas the coming of turk and afghans brought the persian and arabic language into the northern part of india language in the south in the south tamil telugu malayalam and kannad flourished Malayalam was patronized by the Chera rulers. Literature. Literature's work were carried out in different languages. The rulers who had a fine taste and interest is doing and understanding the culture got the local literature translated in their language into their language. Literature in north. Akbar encouraged Hindi poetry. and some of his ministers wrote beautiful verse in hindi raja bhagwan das and raja man singh were poet of distinction in this regard tulsidas was the greatest hindu poet of medieval time who wrote ram charitmanas in avdhi surdas was the greatest poet who wrote thousands of lively lyrics on different stage of lord krishna's life in brij bhasha which is dialectic of hindi mirabai her compositions were originally written in marwadi every even kabir's writing were in a mixed language including brij literature in south in south india pampa pona and rana became famous and the three jewels of kannad literature ramayana was rewritten in tamil by kamban and mahabharata was translated in telugu by tikkan and nayana this was done for the easy understanding by the local population persian literature persian literature arrived in the indian subcontinent with the coming of the persian rulers the language and literature spread as the rulers were more comfortable with the languages from the land of their regions the rulers maintained poet and writers in their ministerial groups 
Tuzake Babri was written in Turkish and translated into Persian. Abdul Fazal's Akbarnama Tuzak e Jahangiri are famous example of the Persian language. Prose of that time. Similarly, Ibn Batuta wrote Kitab ur Rahala, which described the rulers of Lodi's, was also in Persian language. Urdu. Urdu language, which is considered as a mix of Hindi and Muslim culture. A famous poet and scholar of the time of Balban and even in time of Khilji's Amir Khusro was the first literary writer who used Urdu as the medium. He used this mix of language to be understood by both Muslims and Hindu. Paintings Mughal paintings were the greatest patterns of paintings. Their quotes used to have the Persian painters as well as Indian painters. So the paintings used to be a fusion of both schools of art, Persian and Indian. The theme of paintings generally used to be quote scenes, landscapes and fables from Persian books. The paintings were done on silk or cotton clothes or paper and vibrant colors were used. Golden color was used in most of the paintings. The other dominant colors were red and peacock blue. The foundation of Mughal paintings was laid by Humayu. Two Persian painters came with him to his court, namely Mir Sayyid and Abdus Samad. The Mughal ruler Jahangir was not only interested in painting but also a good judge of the art. After Shahaja, Aurangzeb was not interested in painting and large numbers of painters moved towards the hills or migrated to various regional kingdoms in search of work and recognition. Kangra paintings Kangra style of painting started in the foothills of Himalayas as, as the Kangra rulers showed interest in this court. Miniature style of paintings called Basoli came into being by beginning of 18th century. The famous text called Rasa Manjri written by Banbat and painted during this period in region. As the ruler was Hindu, the source of inspiration was the Vaishnavi, Vaishnav traditions Krishna Radha theme become popular here. Rajput style painting. The regions of Mewar, Jodhpur, Kota, Bikaner saw a growth in paintings. Mostly court scenes and romantic themes were painted. The animals like camel and elephant used by the rulers were common motifs. Painting in South. In the southern regions, the paintings were bright in colors. The Tanjore paintings came into being which had even graving and were pasted with stones. The theme were again Hindu gods, mainly Krishna. The art form in cultures and deities is also varied and very realistic. Music The music was the most soothing form of the entertainment which people of those times. Devotional songs, phrases, poetry and Sufi songs and couplets were popular. A variety of string instruments, flute and drum or dholak were used to make the musical form attractive. Shehnai also came in to use. During the time of Akbar rule, Tansin, Surdas and Baba Ramdas were prominent singers. Instruments like the Sarangi and Rabab were brought to India by the Turk. Tansin composed various rags. The Kavali was a new form of music which was contribution of the Sufi sons into the Indian scene. Dance Indian dance has been known for its traditions and rich heritage value. It had started as a form of experience expressions of devotion to God. 
medieval period it is also got recognized vision as a form of entertainment bharatnatyam was a famous sample dance of the south other dance forms were practiced in different part of the country kuchipudi in andhra pradesh kathakali in kerala manipuri in manipur and kathak in north india kathak grew under the patronage of wazid ali shah the last nawab of awadh there was slight variation in the formats used in storytelling and they became famous as the lucknow gharana in awadh and the jaipur gharana in rajasthan rulers and religious traditions the rajput were the ruler of mewad and areas around as per hindu traditions they were from the kshatriya caste and were supposed to be the defense of the population this made the public accept value loyalty trust and dependability as the virtues in these rulers on the eastern side in odisha there was a famous cultural nationalism which was based on religious values in the 12th century a king called anantvarman decided to erect a temple for purushottam jagannath puri in this was the other name of lord vishnu or the lord of the world as per hindu belief over a period of time this became a center of pilgrimage and continued to be so thank you students